Hello my angels! How are you? We are here today. Punk, rock, holiday, glam, everything. I had one of my subscribers leave me a comment in last video saying they would really want to see like a good like holiday look that she could wear to her punk rock band show and I was so about that life. I love that. So I hope this kind of fits that vibe. Um, I think it's actually just plain old glam, but it's like a grungy glam, so I'm into it. And I had to throw glitter in there. So I hope that you guys enjoy it as much as I did. And I really appreciate all your comments on my last video telling me things that I can improve upon, and I hope that I have. And if I have not, please let me know, and I love hearing that. So we're gonna jump right in and get started. Okay, so I already have my concealer and uh, primer on. I'm all primed up, but I'm going to finish up the rest of my face. I'm going to bronze contour, mix it up, with these two OCC cream colors in John Doe and Trick. This one is kind of like a brown rose color, but it's so nice. And this one is super gray. You've probably seen me use it before. I really love mixing the two. It gives you a really nice subtle bronze. So I'm into that right now. And I'm just going to be using this Morphe little angle brush. I tried to clean my brushes last night and I totally forgot because I was wrapping presents. So I'm just mixing those two evenly and dragging them down the cheek, up into the hairline, and back into the ear. I love these OCC colors because they blend like a dream. They're crazy pigmented and a little goes such a long way with them that I'm going to have them forever. Um, I haven't experimented with them without setting them. To me their consistency feels like if I did not set them they would smear. <laughs> they are very creamy so I would just watch out for that. Next I'm going to cream highlight and I'm going to use another OCC compact. This is Pleasure Model. It is a pink iridescent color and I always use the same brush for this. This is my Real Techniques setting brush. I'm just putting it on the high points and I'm kind of dabbing it where I want the most pigment and then distributing it. This highlight gives you that really glossy look. I'm really into that right now. Taking a little tiny brush and highlighting the nose and the cupid's bow. I always like to cream blush too. I'm going to take my ColourPop between the sheets on this little stiff Morphe brush. Just pop that in between. This is a very neutral blush, which I love because when they cream blushes, I like to put another blush on top, a powder one. So I don't want it to like bring too much color from underneath. I want my top blush to give me the color I want. And I'm going to set everything with my MAC Pro Longwear Pressed Powder. This thing is freaking amazing. So good guys. Like, so good. Because it doesn't give you color. It leaves the skin looking dewy. It just sets everything, locks it in place all freaking day. I'm obsessed. I'm truly obsessed and I've had this powder for so long and I kind of never go towards tinted powders so that's why I was never using it but I was just like you know what let me try it because I liked using it at work on people when I work for them so pleasantly surprised and your skin is done so we're going to zoom in and get started on the eyes Okay, so first we're gonna pick up our transition. I'm using brown sugar from the Lime Crime Pocket Candy Pink Lemonade Palette and start to buff that all over the upper crease with this Morphe Dome Shape Brush. And you wanna get it pretty pigmented and extended and then run it right under the lash line pretty low. You don't have to obviously, but I love it. Run all over it with a clean brush so no harsh edges and put it at the nose bridge too. Then I'm gonna dig into the Kat Von D Saint and Sinner Palette and pick up Amen just for my brow bone highlight. Grab Sugar Pill Love Plus, the best red on the entire planet, on a MAC 217, and then just buff that all over into the deeper part of the crease, making this pretty intense, because this is what's going to make this look so red. And just kind of build that up, and use a Juvia's Place pencil brush underneath the eye as well, bring that heavily down, and smoke it out. Then I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Element of Surprise palette and grab the shade Blink Canvas. This is what's going to deepen up our look. 
and taking a Sigma E45 and putting that on the outer corner and a little bit into the inner corner in a little bit of a halo manner and run it really close to the lash line as well. Going back into the Saint and Center palette and picking up Stigmata, we're going to just rub that all over the lid and a little bit under the eye close to the tear duct. Taking a Rodial Smoky Eye Pen or just any black eyeliner, just run that close to your lash line so it's really, really dark and before it dries, smoke that out and keep reapplying it until it's as dark as you want it to be. Then I'm going to take some NYX Glitter Primer and OCC Makeup's Glitter in Red and put that all over the center. If you have hooded lids, it's going to get into your crease, but hey, whatever, you know, live a little. And then I'm going to put my brows on, girl, and then finish this. We're going to go into the shade Rapture and also the shade from the Pink Lemonade palette, Strawberry. We're going to lay down Strawberry first and then tap Rapture on top. Take that, that black pencil, put in your waterline, and smoke it out with Sabbath. And then we're going to pop some lashes on. These are Lily Lashes in Monaco. And okay, now I have these lashes on. Girl, I'm feeling everything about this look so far. Okay, so um, I'm just going to throw some blush on. I'm actually going to take this same color, Brown Sugar, from the Pocket Candy Pink Lemonade Palette from Lime Crime. And on this Japanese brush, just going to use this as my blush. Awesome. Now, if you were anyone other than me, I would say, throw the dark lip on. But since I'm like, <laughs> dark lips, I ain't gonna do that, okay? I'm gonna put on my favorite gloss, NYX Butter Gloss and Madeline, if I even have anything left in this freaking tube. Finish it off with some Dewy Finish Setting Spray from NYX. And that's the finished look, guys. I am obsessed with this holiday glam and I rarely ever wear black liner and it's giving it to me. It's giving it to me. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for all of your comments you left on my last video just giving me some insight. Um, I really really appreciate it. I hope that I kind of like fixed some things that you guys saw that I could improve on and hopefully that we can keep going with this. You guys keep feeding me things and telling me things and I love this, I love this um, because I've been really enjoying YouTube and I really just want to keep going and growing and you know seeing what I can do with it so I really appreciate everything you guys have done. Let me know about this lighting, I feel like it's a bright AF so you guys tell me I have my natural light and this LED light going on so I would love to know more about that from your perspective. And of course, please subscribe and like this video before you leave and tell me more things in my comments. And I love talking to you guys and I'll see you later in the next video.